Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel guys today we will learn how to solve system of three linear equation by by using jacobi method so here is our system of equations now we have to solve it by using jacobi method so our first step is we have to check either our system is strictly diagonally dominant or not if it is strictly diagonally dominant then we will converge to our answer very fast so how to check either it is strictly diagonally dominant or not let's write the system in form of matrix we have to write the matrix of coefficients here it is 3 1 negative 1 2 negative 8 1 1 negative 2 and 9 our system will be strictly diagonally dominant when the absolute value of these diagonal elements this one this one and this one is greater than the sum of the absolute values of these here it is 1 plus absolute value of negative 1 which is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so as we can see that absolute value of 3 is greater than absolute value of 2 similarly let's check this one negative 8 absolute value is greater than absolute value of 2 plus absolute value of 1 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and absolute value of negative 8 is 8 so 8 is greater than 3 next absolute value of 9 is greater than the absolute value of 1 plus the absolute value of negative 2 which is 3 so 9 is, 9 is greater than 3 now we are good to go now we set up the iteration as I'm not going to explain the formula like writing the general formula I'll explain while step by step procedure you will learn how to solve the system by using Jacobi method so first we have to write the first variable which is x in terms of the remaining like x is equals to let's write this one first 3 plus y on the other side will become negative of y 3 negative y negative z it will be plus z 3 is multiplying here so on the other side it will divide so x is equals to 1 over 3 3 negative of y plus z now we can we will write the x we have to write x in terms of the remaining one then y and at the end z so let's write y so y is equals to negative 1 over 8 negative of 5 then minus 2x plus z on the other side will become negative z so z would be 1 over 9 8 negative of x plus 2y now how how we will solve this for first as it, this is an iterative process so we'll take some initial guess let's suppose initially x y and z is equal to zero that is we can write in terms of like x y z is equal to zero zero and zero so now first iteration we can write just move it x just to show that this is the first I, uh, we get this value of x after the first iteration we will write like this this is equals to 1 over 3 3 minus y plus z and for y is equal to minus 1 over 8 
minus 5 minus 2x I'm just writing it down then we will put values and calculate at the same time is equals to 1 over 9 8 minus x plus 2y now as we know that our initial guess is x y and z three of these are zero so we'll simply put the values 1 over 3 3 minus the value of y is 0 plus 0 so we get 1 over 3 so we get 1 here negative 1 over 8 minus 5 2 into 0 0 0 so it is minus minus plus so the answer is 5 over 8 in the same way 1 over 9 8 minus 0 plus 2 into 0 so the answer is 8 over 9 now this is how we usually solve this but in this video I'll show you how to solve it by using calculator actually in every iteration we have to just like this x1 y1 and z1 now the values are let me write down for you x1 y1 z1 the values are 1 5 over 8 you can write it in decimal as you wish 8 over 9 so we'll put the these values in the next iteration i mean in the second iteration so now i'll show you how to solve it by using calculator because as you can see if we do this procedure it, it will take like a lot or longer time now i'm going to show what we will write on calculator okay As you can see we have three variables to calculate x y and z and three variable we put the values of this x uh, these x y and z like the initial guess so on calculator let's name these the values the new values that we get after putting the older one let's name x capital x y capital y and z capital m you can write any other which are available on your calculator of course 1 over 3 3 minus now as we uh, as you know that we have to put the older value so let's say on calculator we assign the value of x to a the value of y to b and the value of z to c so the for older values we will write as in place of y, we will write b, 3, negative of b, plus, in place of z, we will write c. In the same way, we will write the rest of these, 1 over 8, negative of 5, minus 2a, negative c. In the same way, 1 over 9, 8, minus a, plus 2b. Okay? Now let's see how we can write it on calculator. We have to put say columns. Okay, I'll directly show you how to write it on calculator. So here is our calculator. Of course, we have to press the on button. To write capital X, press alpha. And here you can see there is capital X. Press capital X. Now we'll have to put the equal to sign. Let me tell you one thing. We will not press this equal to sign, we will press this one. So press again, press alpha and then equal to. Now we have to write this one. 1 over 3 bracket 3 minus alpha b plus alpha c. Close bracket then we will press colon alpha colon y for y alpha y again equal to negative 1 over 8 bracket negative 5 negative 2 alpha a negative alpha c close the bracket again alpha colon capital M alpha capital M is equal to 1 over 9 bracket 8 minus alpha a plus 2 
alpha b where is b here it is oops let me correct it alpha b close the bracket now we will press this c a l c calc sign press it okay now the calculator will ask us for values i'll draw the table real quick so here is our table now now the let me tell you one thing the new values x y and m these are the new values which will get after putting the older one and these values i mean when we have to put the values which calculator is asking we have to put the values of these a b and c i mean the older values it will you will get a clear concept when we do it so let's start let's name it capital x just for convenience so that you don't forget and the older one as our initial guess for values are 0 0 0 so first the calculator is asking for the value of b which is our y the 0 Press equal to c value zero because our initial guess are zero for x, y, and z. Press equal to a value is zero. Now the calculator is giving us the value of x. As we know that capital X, we have assigned the value of x to capital X. We will write it down. This is one, and this is our first iteration. Press equal to y value is five over eight. This is fraction. We can turn it in decimal places by this button. So our value is zero point six two five zero. Let's write it down. Zero point six two five zero, and the value of m, as we know that we have assigned z to m. The value is zero point eight 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 nine. Now press equal to. Now again, the calculator is asking us for the value of b. We know that the b is assigned to y, c to z, and a. To x, for value of b, we will put this value into calculator, which is point six two five zero. Press equal to. Now for the value of c, we will put this value right there, point eight 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 nine equal to. For value one is one. Now the next iteration. This is a second iteration. This is one point zero double eight zero. Press equal to. Zero point nine eight six one equals zero point nine one six seven. Okay. Now let me tell you one more trick. As he, as you know that I have put all these values into calculator to save this time. You can let. As we know that the value of b is. The value of y. This is the previous value, point nine eight six seven. Now this is already in our calculator. So we will simply put b, which is the last y. Alpha. We know that the value of b is same in capital O y alpha y. Press equal to. The value of c is a in the previous one m alpha m. A the value of a into the last x, which is alpha. X. Now we don't we don't even have to write these values. Plus equals to the next value of x is zero point nine seven six nine plus equal to the value is one point zero double one six is equals zero point nine eight seven one. Again, the previous value of b is in capital O y alpha y. Press equal to C in M, and the value of A in X. Press equal. Here is our value: zero point nine nine one nine, zero point nine nine two six, and M one point zero zero five one. It may seems a bit complicated for you for the first time, but if you like really try it, it will be really easy for you. Now, as you can see. I have calculated all these values. Now let me tell you about the stopping criteria, like where we have to stop when all these values match the previous one. Previous one. Oh, let me calculate the one more because this doesn't match. So for b alpha y, for c m, and for a x. So now the value is one, one, and one. 
दिस इज अर टेंथ हाइट्रेशन सो वी इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स मैच इज विद द प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू ऑफ वाई मैच इज विद द प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ वाई एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी मैच इज विद द प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ जी देन इट मीन्स दैट वी गेट अ आंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज लाइक सपोज देर इज जीरो पॉइंट टू हेट इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर हेट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू वी गेट अर जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इट मीन्स दैट वी हैव सोल्व आवर क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस केस आर आंसर इज एक्स वाई जी वन 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 You can also check either answer is correct or not by putting these values into our system, which is right here. I've already put these values. You can see after putting the value of x, y, and z is equal to one, one, one. We can see that see, like three is equal to three. After calculating this, there is negative five is equal to negative five, and eight is equal to eight. So it means that our answer is correct. So that's all. I hope you like this video. If you like this video. then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so it you can help somebody else as well thank you so much